Today, we're diving into the world of AI-generated videos, specifically focusing on two groundbreaking tools, Gen2 from Runway and Xeroscope on Hugging Space. You can find the link of both of these tools in the description down below. These tools are text-to-video generators. You input a description or a prompt, and the AI gives you a 4-second video based on your description. Let's take a closer look at how these tools work. I'll start with Xeroscope, which is available for free on Hugging Space. Once you're on the website, you'll have this input box, which we can use to describe what we want in our video. Let's write, a samurai dancing under a sakura tree, and click on submit. We have to wait for the video to be generated and you can see the time here, it says approximately 59 seconds. And here is the result. Now we get this weird looking video, which is not quite what we imagined and far from perfect. But what's amazing about this is that this tool will only get better. We can already see a tree here, two figures that look like samurai or wearing samurai clothes. Now before I move on, I want to see how good this tool is with different styles. I write the same prompt but I add it in the style of children's book illustrations. Let's see what we get. We click on submit again and here is the result. We do indeed see a change in the style. It's more cartoonish this time and with plain colors. I wrote in the style of children's book illustrations and I can see that it does resemble that. Impressive. I went ahead and tried a bunch of different styles just for the fun of it. I used the same description as before and only changed the style. Here are the results. I get excited about the future when I see this. Even if it's far from perfect at the moment, I am amazed at how the results change based on the different styles I write. If this improves as fast as the rest of the generative AI models, we'll get unbelievable results within one to two years. I mean, hopefully. Now look at this one, reminding me of Iranians dancing. Now let's get back to the film stuff. We're gonna try Gen 2 by Runway. This is another text-to-video generator. To access this, you need to go to their website. Sign up by clicking on this button right here, and you can sign up manually or log in with Google. Once you're inside, you'll see a lot of different options. Just click on Introducing Gen 2 right here, or you can always find it by going to Generate Videos here, and then Gen 2 Text to Video over here. Alright, let's test it out. Here is the interface. We can write our prompt here just like before, or if we scroll down a bit, we can see some examples for inspiration. Let's try out the first one. If click on it, we get the prompt, and we can try it out for ourselves. Now let's click on preview and see what we get. Here is the great thing about Gen 2. We get a preview of four videos. We can choose one of them. Let's go with this one and click on this button that says generate this. And here is what we got. The lightning is good and we can clearly see that this is underwater and there is fish swimming. However, there is some artifacts and deformities. This is to be expected at this level. However, this is good results. Now let's try the same prompt that I used before with Xeroscope. Let's see what Gen 2 can do with this prompt and how it compares to Xeroscope. I write Samurai Dancing Under Sakura Tree. Again, I will try a few different styles here as well. Now the previews here look amazing. Let's click on this one here and see how it does with the video. It is a really beautiful scene, but there is almost no movement. I don't know about you, but this is not dancing. Let's try with another one and see if we get something with more movement. Here's the second try. There's some movement in the arm, but overall there is a lack of movement so far. I tried the same prompt again, but with different styles. Here are the results so that you can judge for yourself. In the end, I got some results with movement and they were pretty interesting. But I think Gen 2 has a problem with a lack of movement in many of their videos. For the most part, they feel more like an image trying to be a video, instead of an actual video. However, this is the results we got using a single prompt and various styles. If we go back to the home page, there is Gen 2 footage packs available. They include various videos that has been generated by this tool. Here is the categories. We're gonna take a look at some of them in a minute. Before that, let me show you a funny category that they have. The plastic pollution has gone so far that we'll find it even in text-to-video generators. Here is a video of a bag flying with the wind, generated by Gen 2. Don't ask me why. Here is another one, if you can't get enough, 
If this looks satisfying, please subscribe down below. If it wasn't satisfying, you can drop a comment as well after you subscribe. I downloaded a few of the packages and I must say, they are quite impressive. Here is the videos included in the package called Deep Orbit. Try to think about different use cases for this tool, and if you come up with something interesting, feel free to share them with us in the comments down below. Here are some videos generated with the keywords Misty Forest. This could literally be the start of a horror film. It's really good at generating explosions. and flowers and plant life. Before we move on to use cases, let me show you something that I think can be done with these tools in the future. I wrote a woman in front of a green screen and got these results. It's inevitable that we're going to get to a stage where you can pretty much create an entire movie by generating different scenes and shots. Imagine what this technology looks like in five years. We're at this point where things are going faster and not slower. I really hope that you are as excited about the future as I am. Remember to stay responsible with these tools and create something your mother would be proud of, if she understood. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment down below.